Okay, here we go. All right, well, good afternoon, uh, everybody who's uh, stopping by and watching us here. Something different to broadcast here today, a first time for us uh, here on the show, Lawnmower Racing. Wayne Freer joining me here today. And, uh, Wayne, how long has the Western Ontario Outlaws been around here so far? Uh, we were formed in the fall of 2007 uh, by a gentleman named Gary Kerr. Yeah. Uh, his son, Ryan Kerr, this is what he does for a living, builds racing more engines. Wow. And uh, I never knew it was out here. Like, <laughs> you know, it seems kind of a bit of a, a hidden event happening out Petrolia Way. It, it, it is. It's it's probably one of the best kept secrets in Petrolia. Uh, for whatever reason, I guess we haven't done a good job promoting it. <laughs> well, uh, we're working on that now. We're working on that. <laughs> we're going to get it happening. Uh, but we, yeah, we've come out here about uh, five years ago. Uh, yeah. We did have a race track up in Thedford, a group up there had a track that okay. we raced at. Well, and, and we're just, for those of you watching, uh, we're right beside the Petrolia landfill site, right? Here right. on uh, and, Oil Heritage Road and, here. And it's closed down, so we don't have any odor. Never had an odor problem here all the years we've been here. Right, uh, right. Fortunately. And, and who belo who uh, uh, whose uh, land is this out here that you're able to use? This property is owned by a local farmer uh, named Peter Gradonis, and okay. he leases the property to us. Nice. And uh, we maintain it, keep the grass cut, and uh, as time goes on, we've been building the track and improving it. Uh, putting in a little bit of seating. We've got some new catch fences to protect the fans from any racing incidents. Yeah, it's really a nice setup here, and, and uh, off to my left here, uh, we don't have a camera on that, but uh, the other way as well. Uh, people are here gathering. we got mums and dads, of course, and grandmas and grandpas and friends. Uh, to come out and watch lawnmower racing. Um, how how many uh, races do you have in a season? We schedule 10 races every year at, uh, at this particular track. Uh, we start at the end of May, and we'll go every other Sunday afternoon. Right. Uh, in addition to that, we do some fairs and so on on top of that. So we'll do 14 or 15 events a year. Unless they get rained out. Unless we get rained Which out. Which today is the last race of the season, and Mother Nature's cooperating with us so well, far today. Actually, this is the second last race. We do have a race scheduled for the 29th. Oh, okay. Yep, but uh, Mother Nature's cooperating today all the way around us. It's been <laughs> raining, but here it's dry. We actually had to put water on the track uh, today in order to uh, keep the dust down. It's right. hard, hard to believe. Now, let's talk about the different age groups and classes. I know I was a little shocked. This is something new to me, Wayne, of course. Um, and I'm excited to learn more about it. But we're watching right now. How old are they out there on the track? Uh, this fellow that's on there right now, that's one of our junior racers. He's six and a half years old. Wow. We, st we start at age uh, four in age this class. Uh, speed is monitored. They're not real fast. It gives them a chance to get a handle on what's going on. Yeah. Get used to the track. and, and get. But some of them, uh, earlier we were watching before we were live, <laughs> they were just giving her around that track. We... Uh, we run uh, well junior class, then we go to an eight horsepower class, which is our Econo mod. Then we go up into our mini mod, which is a 12 horse class. And then we get up into uh, our modifieds, which are running 18 horse. And that's pretty much the standard size motor at that point. Yeah. Then we go into our super mods, which is the same as a mod, only uh, ungoverned. So they'll, they uh, don't have to have a governor. Our outlaw class, which would be the one you were talking about there, it's kind of crazy. They can do whatever <laughs> they want. And uh, they'll get upwards of 100, 150 mile an hour wheel speed. What? Yeah. They oh. won't get that fast on the track because they haven't got enough room. Right. But those wheels will be spinning upwards of 100 to 150 mile an hour. Wow. So how fast will they go on this track? Uh, they'll get up around 46, 47 mile an that, hour. That's a, that's a, it, it's a small track, right? Yep. Like So yep. they're, they're, they're wheeling around those corners they're at that speed. They're wheeling around the corners at straight away. They'll, they'll dump on it. It's not on it very long. Yeah. But uh, I know there's been talk uh, of trying to get me on one of these things. It's been a conversation. Well, Kimberly has been uh, <laughs> campaigning to have me go on there. Uh, we've got a few folks watching. We'll say hello to uh, Ronnie Fraser's out there. Hey, Ronnie. And uh, we've got uh, Rock is out there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, share the excitement. Click on the share button. Like this. Love this. Whatever you got to do. But share it around so we can get uh, some more attention for the Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing. Say that five times fast. <laughs> exactly. And you'll see some of the fellows out on the track right now doing a little bit of maintenance. Looks like we maybe had a hole dug up out there. Okay. Uh, we did have two juniors out there. One of them uh, looks like the belt come off. So they'll be back in the pits 
hopefully getting that back in shape for our second heat race. We run two heats and a feature race. So this is our winner for this class? This is our winner for this class. Jordan's out of Thorndale. Uh, comes down here. Uh, this is his second year of racing. Uh, next year he may move up a class into our Economod class. Okay. And speaking of Thorndale, a good way to lead into what's happening next Friday out at the Thorndale Fair. Thorndale Fair, next Friday night, 7 o'clock, Power Wheel races, and uh, we'll be overseeing that particular race. And then at 7.30, the Outlaws will be taken to the track, and we'll be doing a full program up there on Friday night under the lights. Oh, nice. And we don't get to do that very often, so right. we're uh, excited about, about being under the lights. So we're coming into another class here now. Let's talk about uh, what's coming out on the track okay, now. This, this is our Economod class. These ones are running an 8-horse motor governed at 3,650 RPM. Uh, we kind of mandate that as part of the class. It's a step up from the juniors, but uh, a little better, a uh, little more speed. And what, the, sorry, what are they called again? Economod. Economod. Economod, okay. yeah. And what's this age group? Uh, well, they go. This is a class after junior, so they'll start here about age eight, age nine, whenever they feel confident. And you usually go up to about well, they can go as high age as they want. The reason why I say that uh, in the uh, double zero, if that's showing up on the camera there, the first machine, that's my granddaughter. She'll be 16 this fall, so she's been uh, running this class for a while. That, oh, well. that will probably be coming a mini mod next year, next class up. All right. Uh, behind her is her aunt. Around is 30, so I mean it's wherever you oh. feel wherever you feel comfortable <laughs> racing. This is Zamara's first year racing, so she said she wanted to try this. Normally, been doing our gate for the last number of years, and uh, uh, so she's uh, handling that part. I can see where this would become uh, addicting. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier my son Jason was going to come out, but he, he had other plans. But I can see him getting on one of those and then going, "Yeah, Dad, I need to do that." Yeah. What kind of money is involved in getting started in this? You can get into this class if you got if you got some mechanical ability. Obviously, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Right. You know, all you need is a riding more, and you do some modifications. We drop the height level down on them in order to make it safer. Okay. Uh, but they're running a lot more motors, so there's all kinds of those around. Uh, you could probably get into it five, six hundred dollars. I think uh, that eighty-eight, the second one there, I bought that for seven hundred dollars as it is, race ready, ready to go. All right. Uh, if you want to put more money and get in one of the higher classes, uh, you can get up eight, ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to put some money into it, but uh, it is a hobby. It's a hobby. It's not and supposed to make uh, you money. Yeah. It's, it, we we are we do not race for money. We race for bragging rights only. Right. And uh, we are a not for profit, so a lot of any money that we can raise and generate over the year. Uh, we try to donate some of it back to the community, oh, whether perfect, it's a perfect. Petrolia perfect. Food Bank or right. oh, yes. a, a breakfast program at the LCCVI, a high school breakfast program. So now they're coming out onto the track, so they'll come over here to the to the post? The, they, they will probably do a rolling start with this class. Okay. Uh, they'll come around when they're ready to go. Now they're being warned they put some water down in turn three. Uh, not sure what the reason for that was. There must have been a, a problem with the track. Uh, so uh, when they're lined up and ready to go, Lauren will throw the green and they'll be off and running for 10 laps. Looks like right. he's going to give them one more lap. Well, we'll go to our viewers that are watching. Uh, Bronson Perry is out there. Says, great coverage. Thanks, Bronson. Kelly Shoddy, a regular here on the show, is, is the guy with the big green tractor there singing it all. I'm not sure what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the, I don't know, Kelly, who are you talking about? And Joan Biggs out there. Hi, hello to you, Joan. Um... We're just getting ready for our next race out here. I'm just going to take a moment uh, and share this so our friends can also... Uh, please cl click, click, I can't talk today. Click the share button out there so we can get some more attention for our friends here at the Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing here in Petrolia. A little more sunshine coming out our way. And there they're off and running. Double zero, and is that 88, is that? 88 is right. yep. Uh, double zero, she's been running since she was age four. She started at age four, and... Uh, and she's how old now? She's coming 16. Wow. Lives in Guelph, and they travel down here to put near every race that they can to take part of that. Of course, Grandpa takes care of making sure the machine's ready for her. Right, them. right. <laughs> Well, so, th and this is really, I'm looking around, this is really a family day, right? This, you know, is, this is a family sport. Uh, they say because we can run any age from four up to 
Well, I'm in my 70s, and I'm still racing occasionally. Right. They get uh, you out there once in a while, do they? Once in a while. Uh, <laughs> I spend a lot of time behind the scenes now and let somebody else drive my machine, but yeah. uh, it's not that I couldn't get out there. It's just that I have other priorities to sure. make sure things sure. Take, run smooth here. And I see they got, the, I had one of the hamburgers earlier. They got hamburgers and hot dogs. And uh, is that supporting something? That, that, Paul and Kim, my daughter and son-in-law, they, uh, or son-in-law and daughter, I'll say it in the right order here. Right. <laughs> uh, they uh, run the concession stand here, and uh, they use the profits for the Kidney Foundation. Awesome. Uh, we uh, raising funds for a uh, trip out to Calgary again next year. Right. And I know, yeah, you just got back from that, and Kimberly was telling me that Overall, everybody who participated in that 100-kilometer uh, walk, they're up to $1.4 million raised. One, that's 1. fantastic. Million, and still, so funds still coming in. So that's great. Uh, we have a, we appreciate that, and that falls right in line with our not-for-profit status, allowing them to come in here and do that. Yeah. Now we we'll go back out to the track here, and we see uh, Double Zero's been holding on to the lead. Yeah. Is is 88 just holding back a little yeah, here? Yeah, she might be, <laughs> but uh, those machines are pretty well matched. Uh, but it looks like the 88's kind of finding a groove and Trying picking up a little in. bit of speed. Yeah. So the key here, I would would say, would it not be to stay on the inside? Is that the shorter part of it to try to get by, or what's the strategy? Inside here? is the shortest way around, but uh, you don't want to scrub speed off. And sometimes if you stay to the middle of the track a little higher, like Zamora is right now, you uh, you carry your speed. He was trying to make a move there, I yep. think. Yep. She's still working on it. Yep. A little bit of a no-quit attitude here. Yep. <laughs> little family rivalry on the track. Family rivalry. <laughs> uh, I'm really surprised that the mayor took up racing this year because uh, it's not something she was interested in doing. But this year she decided she moved to a new level. So, uh, well, holding on to the lead well out there. Yep. yep. There is, is, she got the experience behind her. So. Right. And I guess at this point, too, it's the, the strategy for uh, 88 out there. But... Uh, double zero doesn't want to make an error either. That, Eggs, that comes into play. It only takes one little slip, and uh, you end up uh, in second place. There you go. But uh, that was ten laps. That was ten laps. Right. Yep. Yep. And double zero. Winner double for zero that class. Picks up the checker flag for that. Flagman is Lauren Pistorius. He comes in from Grand Bend to take care of this horse. His grandson races here, and that's how he got involved. Okay. But. Uh, this is something that he's uh, decided he'd like to do in every race. He's here to do, be our flag man. Everybody's doing their part to make this happen today, and she'll take a victory lap. Right. Now, is there normally somebody announcing? Norm normally I'm announcing, but my microphone died Oh, today, yes, so, right. right. Uh, well, I shouldn't say. I, I, I have announced. My uh, daughter's uh, boyfriend comes down from uh, Georgetown and announces for us. Okay. Uh, All right. No announcer today, then? No announcer today, Because we're no. taking you in. You didn't remember your, your your microphone, I know, wasn't working. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. So she dropped the flag because the flag man was looking at something else. He's, he's over <laughs> inspecting that track over Seems to uh, be something happening over yeah, there, a bit yeah. of a, a cautionary. Yep. Yeah. So he's out uh, inspecting just to make sure everything's safe because we're getting into faster classes. And... Uh, I know you've got some sponsors, too, that uh, helps make this possible. Cartworks uh, is uh, a supporter here. Cart Racing, Part Service Engines. Visit them online at cartworks.ca. And where are they from? They're they're located in uh, Amherstburg or LaSalle, LaSalle okay. Ontario. Uh, they very generously uh, supported us this year. And we buy a fair number of parts from, from them because a lot of our parts are retrofitted to, to, to match okay. go-karts. You know, we run aluminum wheels because they're safer than the steel wheels. And, right. Uh, some of the parts that they would typically would find on a go-kart, we uh, we use as well. Okay. Go-kart go seats and so on. So. Right. Now, how far, how many clubs are in all in Canada, would you know? In Canada. Uh, I oh. believe there's a, cub, a club, one club that I'm aware of in British Columbia. Okay. There's another small group in Alberta. Uh, we've got a new club that just formed up in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, one down in the Peterborough area in Ontario, uh, Soltra, which is uh, Woodstock area, All right. and then ourselves. So that's, that's five five clubs in, in all, all of Canada. In all of Canada. So it's a really unique sport. It, it is. It is. Uh, the U.S. It is very popular. I mean, they have national events yeah, over there. Yeah. And, uh, they'll get hundreds of racers showing up for right. those events. Corey Lapointe, who we were talking to earlier this week on the show, called it Redneck NASCAR. Redneck NASCAR <laughs> is exactly what it is. Uh, and uh, 
we're proud of it. I mean, it's yeah. it, it's a sport that you can get into very, you know, relatively cheaply, to, depending what you yeah, want to do. Yeah, sure. You can build uh, to whatever you want. Uh, so it, it's and it's a growing sport. Then you see this this growing into it's, other it's uh, a growing rural areas. Sport. We're trying to uh, trying to grow our club. Uh, safety is our number one thing that we're right. that we want to promote. You know, uh, I would think insurance would be a factor in, in having this track here and, and people racing. For sure, uh, we had to do some real searching in order to find somebody that would give us the necessary insurance coverage that we need, and we had to do a lot of things to make sure that we met their criteria too. Right. Which uh, you know the the catch fence around the track and the bales and uh, the fence around the pond, uh, those are all proactive things that we want to make sure that we're doing yeah. the right thing to make sure you don't just uh build a track and say let's go have some fun no no <laughs> some places do yeah we, we don't we yeah. don't uh yeah. well I, especially at this age group age levels that you're starting with yeah, yeah. and uh well safety is just a smart choice <laughs> safety is a smart choice for sure yeah uh, and some of this uh we've got our friend from uh car wars uh we'll be posting this is that is that is it car wars on just on car wars on youtube yeah with, yes. a, with a z right yeah so some of that will be up later tonight, is that right? Yep. Okay, perfect. So check yep. them out on their YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, they travel all over to this kind of stuff as well, Car Wars on YouTube. Yep. And uh, I know he said that they'll have some of this up later on tonight, so that's great. So once again, uh, okay, we're going back to our comments here. Kelly wants to know, oh, Scott from the Barn Burners, or is it just racing? Oh, I don't think Scott's here. He just saw the John Deere tractor and the camera shot over there, <laughs> so I think he was thinking, "Hey, that'd be cool. We get Scott Maneri and the barn burners up here on the hill jamming away. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun." Uh, Kelly also says, "Do they have a speed limit or different classes?" Yes, yes. Uh, junior class, we we set them up so they're very competitive in their speed. Their safety, safety on top of safety, is what we're concerned with them, and uh, so we've got them pretty well dialed in right now. Uh, because we kind of manage the gear ratios and the size of engine that we have, uh, the the speeds are pretty pretty much consistent. Uh, some of the people are pretty good at dialing the machine in, right, to get the most out of it, and uh, you'll see some that are a little faster than other ones. Okay. And what's this class we're coming into? This now? class is what we call our mini mod. It was the same machines as the last class, just a bigger motor. Okay. And they're off. Now what we got here are two sisters racing against one another. Oh boy, this could be interesting. <laughs> wow. Really taking it around the track here. What kind of speeds are we seeing here? They're probably doing around 28 mile an hour. Okay. <laughs> it still just blows my mind. 28 miles an hour on a lawnmower. On a lawnmower, <laughs> yep. And we're fortunate that we've got our track room pretty, pretty good. Uh, sometimes we get some places that are pretty bumpy. It'll bounce you right out of the seat. Oh, wow. Kelly says thanks for that information. And Kelly, you should come out and try this. <laughs> now, for people who come out here uh, to watch, uh, there's a fee to come in? Yes, we charge $5 at okay. the gate to come in. Uh, our racers do pay a fee to pay to race as well. Okay. Uh, and that covers us all, that gets us all covered on insurance. Right. But uh, somebody wants to come out and try this sometime. Check them, if you range with us ahead of time, and we'll uh, put somebody in a seat after the race and let them take some laps. Right. I I imagine that uh, they're still going to try to talk me into riding one of these. Seats. Oh, yeah, we're not done with it yet. But, uh, <laughs> Jeff says, oh yeah. Jeff's comment. He's beside us. He's commenting. <laughs> Great day for racing. It is a great day for racing. It's a beautiful day out here. A little yeah. bit of a breeze, yeah. uh, a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of gray, but overall, nice dry day. So with all the rain we've had recently, it's hard to surprise. We we had to put water in this track a couple hours ago. Yes, I saw that. Dusty. Getting things started. Ashley is doing a good job keeping ahead of her sister Sarah. Yeah. This is Ashley's first year. Oh wow. So Sarah's uh, being shown up by sister here. Yes, she is. <laughs> uh, Ashley is driving a machine that uh, Dean Burns built and uh, letting her drive. 
Good tight race. Good tight race. And there it is. As long as they still hug after. <laughs> as long as they still hug after. Right? Exactly. Exactly. I can't. I can't see what he's showing me there. He's showing. He's got the show on. Oh, he's got. He's. <laughs> oh yeah. He's watching. It's Jeff, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Jeff. I don't know why. I, I always want to call you Gary for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> you look like a Gary. <laughs> Car wars. Our next class we got coming up here is our is our modified class. Now so this should be a little more interesting. This will be a little bit more interesting. A few more machines. This seems to be a class of uh, of great interest because it's kind of an intermediate. It's not super fast, but oh wow, fast enough to keep you keep you active. We got what uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got eight of those machines out there today, so it's going to be some good good oh, yeah. racing. Yeah, because so far we've just seen two, right? So. Right. Yep. Uh, the other classes, uh, well, a lot of them That like, would be the race I'd want to be in because I could say, yeah, I <laughs> raced and I came second. There you go. I almost yep. won. Yep. <laughs> we do a NASCAR style start, so we'll line up two by two. And, and will everybody uh, find their dancing partner in all this? Do they do uh, that? Or it's every man for they, himself. They don't have <laughs> much time for the dancing partner, no, right? No, no. <laughs> and we got uh, the white machine out there, the number 40. He just He's from Ridgetown. Just bought that machine a few weeks ago. And away they go. Wow. They're really taking this to heart out there. There's uh, These bragging rights are real important right now. You got her. Look at that. Eight cars on the track right now, or eight lawn mowers, I should say. 21's in the lead so far. It's number nine. I'm uh, keeping my eye on him. He started racing in that double zero machine that my granddaughter's okay. driving. So who is this number 21 in the lead right now? Well, 21, that's Corey LaPointe, owner of Lug Nuts. Yeah. And uh, he's got a pretty good machine. He's got a pretty yeah. good machine, and then he <laughs> tends to want to get out front. Paul and him is... Uh, For a guy who thought somebody should get a life. <laughs> ex exactly, exactly. <laughs> wow, and I'm sure you viewers can... Uh, Hear the roaring going on out there. Uh, Bronson Perry says, go number five. All right. Let's see where number five is. The white one. The white one, yeah, okay. Yeah, needs, yeah. To, needs to catch up there, but hold on. Yeah. The pack, it seems to have broken up a little bit Breaking up there. Breaking up, starting to show off the machine. They got a little bit more speed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, okay, it was broke on the 55, I think. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Corey LaPointe holds on to the lead here. The Jasper Jansen in the green machine is pulling up on him. Jasper's the uh, farms down south of Brigham. He'll be out with his outlaw a little bit later on. Jasper's driving him. The white machine. Yeah, this would not be my category. Nine and looks like everybody, there's a few having their own little race going on here separately, right? Nine and 88 are rivals. That's the black machine and the green machine. They, uh, they're both about the same age and uh, they race the same amount of time. Real rival going on. <laughs> I, I like that number 88 lawnmower. That'd be the one I'd put my butt into. I'd feel like I'd protect it or something. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, that's. Uh, there you go. Look at that. We got 10 laps in already. Over before you know it. Exciting 10 laps, though. Corey LaPointe, your winner here today at the Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing here in Petrolia. Kelly is uh, saying. Would you ever consider dirt bike racing in between the races, or would track maintenance be too much work? Uh, probably, we're zoned for what we're doing. Uh, we get into bike racing, that becomes a different issue, yeah, uh, insurance-wise and, uh, and, and noise-wise as well. <coughs> yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Good question, yeah. though, Kelly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, keep the questions coming. For those of you who are watching, we do see your comments while we're broadcasting here. and. 
Uh, I'm not the expert, but we've got one here with us today. Wayne Freer is joining us to talk about this race. What happened to uh, number 55 here, I, I wonder? I see him pumping the throttle going around the corner here. I got a feeling maybe the throttle cable broke on him. Oh, okay. That's actually my machine, so hopefully he got the parts to put her back together. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> yeah. Check the trailer. Should be there. There you go. Kelly says that was a great race. It really was, you know, and uh, there's nothing like seeing it in person, though, I can tell you that, Kelly. So uh, the next race you said is... Uh, the, the, these are super mods now. This is the same as the last class, but these machines are not governed. So oh, okay. They get a little, they get a little more RPMs out of them. What the old ones are. And you say you got another race on September the 29th. Is September that right? September 29th, we'll have our, what may be the last race of the season. We've been okay. rained out a few times, so we may try to get a makeup race or two in after Thanksgiving. Well, okay. So if if you, you get rained out, you try to reschedule. Try to reschedule if you can. Yeah. Uh, the purple machine on here. That uh, gentleman comes down from Harrison, Ontario. So he, Looks like he modified his helmet, too. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we, we do all kinds of stupid little things to make the sport interesting. So, sir, you said he's from where? He comes down from Harriston. North, oh, oh north wow. Of, Harriston. Yep, north of Listowel. Yes, I know it well. And the gentleman in the green? He's a local man. Uh, Thirty-six. He's driving a little tender today because he had a, uh, a dislocated shoulder up to a few couple weeks ago. He's just coming back on the men's. Looks like his machine might have given some problems already. On uh oh, oh dear, too bad. That would be a bummer. Yep. Drive all that way, and sometimes it's the silliest little things that'll do it to you. Yeah, so he'll still do the whole ten laps. He'll anyway. do the ten laps. Yep. Will he show off for us a little bit? Yeah, I wonder. He might. <laughs> <laughs> I would think that would be part of it. Yeah. You want to give a show to the audience yep. as well. The best time is when we're working the track in before the races. Yeah, then uh, they really dig oh, it. Oh, we get out there and do some wheelies, or not wheelies, but some <laughs> 180s and so on. Is that right? Spinning back and forth, making the, uh, working the track in. Looks like our flag man's maybe going to cut this one short. See the white flag out there. He's gonna say, "Come on, we know you won." Yeah, there's <laughs> nobody there to compete with you, so we'll. Uh, and, and you'll notice the uh, Matt in the purple machine. He's sitting well out of the way to make sure he's not in Dean's harm's way. Yeah. There he says, "There you go. Come get your flag." The uh, the pond in the middle of the track is very intimidating. It's about 15 feet deep in the middle. Oh wow! So you do not want to go in there. It's a one-way trip, I'm afraid. Uh, we've never had anybody do it. Um, well, let's keep it that way. We've had <laughs> we we put a new fence up around it this year, and we put the tire barrier around it to make sure that nobody does go in there. But uh, that's our source of water for watering the track and keeping it moist. Good idea. Good idea. Well, for those of you just joining in, we're. Uh, out here in Petrolia at the Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing. Yes, that is a thing that exists out here. And our friend Wayne Freer is uh, joining us today to uh, share all the insights about lawnmower racing. I uh, see one of our outlaws coming out here. And looks like Jasper and his outlaws coming out as well. This is the first year for the uh, outlaw class coming back, so we're we still got some fellows in the midst of, uh, of building their machines. Uh, hopefully it'll grow next year. Right. We'd like to get some kind of a national event going for this particular class. Yeah. And, uh, you know, bring them all together from across Canada at some point. Right. Time. Uh, Frank Albert Laranger. Laranger. So not the same as being there, but still a great show. Great job, Wayne. That's Frank from Georgetown. That's Frank from Georgetown. Frank is our normal announcer. <coughs> okay. And he's got a bit of a bad back this weekend, so he stayed behind. Outlaw class. Wow. Here we go. No holding back here. What kind of speed are we seeing here now? <laughs> They're probably around 44, 46 mile an hour wow. on the street away.
and there seems to be, um, you can sort of sense from watching this, there's a lot of respect out on that track. Definitely, a lot of respect. We all got to go to work tomorrow. Some of us have to go to school. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Jasper Jansen in the purple purple. Oh yes, I've seen that one online. Wow. Quite a bit of a lead here, I would think. Yeah. Just needs to hold on to it for. It's amazing to me how how tight they come in on those turns. We're into our final lap here. Go the purple nurple. <laughs> Bit of a show there at the end. <laughs> show. 21. That's Xander Kerr out of Petrolia. 15 years old running that machine. Wow. Wow. Well, that purple, but you, purple but you're never too young to start this, right? You're never too young. As I say, uh, he started racing when he was two. My dad He's comes from a racing background, so he's gonna give understand. us a nice victory lap yeah. here. We'll see if he does a donut for us or not. You're right. <laughs> We get those once in a while? Every once in a while. <laughs> and who do we have? Who is that out on the field there? Out in the field. That's my daughter, Melissa, from Guelph. Okay. Uh, she just uh, got one of the caution flags, so if something happens, that she can uh, get the attention of the drivers on the back straightaway. We, we have signal lights that we're putting in here out the track. I uh, haven't got them in yet, but we've oh, got okay. some wire run. That's uh, the next stage of uh, of our safety development is to get uh, some actual lights out there to right. signal. So the there's drivers. a long-term plan happening out here. Long-term you know, plan, yes. Want to, so if somebody, like you said, they're, if they're interested in trying this out, they, you know, this you don't have to go out and buy one uh, and spend all that money and then go, I don't really like this. There's, there's, exactly. Come you're up. able to go try it out. There's a machine here somewhere that you can give a try and see what you think of it. Yeah, what and, a great idea. Uh, you know, if you don't like it. There's lots of other positions that we can use help. If you want to be a volunteer in the club, we've got all kinds of opportunities to uh, to do that. Any students out there that are looking for uh, for hours for the school, uh, we can definitely allow that to happen as well. Oh, okay, great idea, and be a good experience too. I mean, this is really, again, like I said earlier, uh, unique, right? You know, exactly. certainly to this area. Yeah. And. Um, so looking to grow membership and get more people out here, and uh, that's why we're live streaming this here today yeah. for you to, to create this awareness. We're only sport now. Walking down the track, that's Dana Kerr, that young fellow that was just driving the outlaw, the 15-year-old. That's his mom. Okay. Imagine what she's feeling standing up there, keeping score as he's right <laughs> rip around yes, there. Yes, uh, can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and, but of course, his dad is back in the pits, just as much anxiety. Right. Right. Well, I guess that's kind of, that comes into play too. I mean, when, uh, uh, I know when my boy was really young, he wanted to get into racing dirt bikes, and his mother wasn't too keen on that, and, uh, well, it never happened, but uh, he's still interested, right? Um, how does one get to learn that at a young age? I mean, because there would be a huge safety factor, especially at such a young age. Yep. Well, it, we're, there's no secret shared in this club which is the nice thing about this sport. I started, I went to see a race at Brigden Fair. I knew a young fellow was racing there at Brigden Fair, and I went out to support him, and I kind of looked down, and I, I was sitting right beside the pits, and I could see everybody helping one another, you know? So right. they have pro it was all, and I thought, hey, that's that's what I like, you know? Yeah. There was no secrets, and so I kind of got involved at that point. I actually started off doing some announcing for them right? Uh, because they didn't have an announcer, not that okay. I could announce. And after about three races, I thought, hey, you know, I could be sitting in the seat of one of those things as well. 
is that. So one of the guys gave me a chance to try it out. And said, yeah, I think I'm going to do this. <laughs> and it's been a journey since then, you know. Right. And uh, brought my granddaughter in, my grandson in. Uh, Melissa, my daughter, who was doing the yellow flag there, she raced for a while. Uh, and it's just been a, been a journey. And everybody I met that wanted to try it, sure, get on the machine see what you think about it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if it's something you want to try, then we'll see if we can find you more. And uh, it's it's a growing sport. There's, as I say, there's lots of, lots of equipment around. It's just a matter of being able to find it. Yeah, yeah. And now, you guys have a group on Facebook, though, right? We're, we're on Facebook, yep. Yeah. And we have our website, westerntrailoutlaws.com, uh, where all the build rules for the various classes and so on are all posted on there, what the specs are and so on and so forth. And we're just a, a message away or a phone call away to find out uh, if you're having problems, hey, we'll give you some help figure out what to do. Perfect, perfect. Uh, a few more people. Tracy Laker says, thanks for sharing. And uh, Kelly Shotty says, if you build it, they will come. Yeah, that's true. Uh, racing is making a comeback in Ontario for sure. Um, where do you see this five years from now as far as, as growth? It, we, I would like to see this sport, and you know, it all depends on how well we're we get we're able to promote it and so on. Uh, you know, we had that modified class out there with about seven or eight racers. It would be nice to have 20 in that class, so right. we'd have to break it up and run two heats. Right. Now, uh, but would you, and, and and what about size of the track? Is, is, this a, a, is this a regulation size, or does it get no. bigger, or how does that? This this is our track. We build it for this size here. We want to build it up a little bit. We like to, we got a big berm at the back there. We'd like to get a machine in here and bring some more dirt up to the track and put right. some more banking in it, get it up high enough so the water will run off it. Uh, you see a little wet spot on the right across from the starter yeah, stand. It's yeah. because it's a little low there. Uh, it's 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 a growing exercise. We put a bunch of dirt on it last year. Uh, we need to keep doing that, but it depends on the equipment that we've got available and and the funds to be able to do that as as well. Uh, but uh, we, we we basically this is the track that we we design, and uh, we'll put some more fencing around it over past the starter stand and right clean out some of these weeds and maybe put something across the back over here. Eventually we want the online to go on the track part way down the back stretch here. We want to come in through the reeds and come on the track about halfway down uh, so that the in on point is separate from the off point. Right. And again, that's a safety feature. We haven't got machines sitting there with somebody coming off, uh, possible creating a, an injury. Right. Now, uh, what's going to happen next? We're on a bit of a break uh, right here. Right now we've got a break. Uh, I thought we were going to have some power wheels, but I'm not sure what Corey's lining up over there. Okay. What we do, we just give them a few minutes to uh, get their, to tweak their machines a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, uh, normally, sometimes we put some water on the track, but the track's not bad. Uh, let's not uh, get it too wet or it'll create other issues. And what uh, time will this all run until today? We'll be here till about 4, maybe 4.30. Uh, yeah, okay. We're usually finished up. Uh, we generally run the program pretty quick. Right. Uh, so still time for uh, those viewers to hop in your vehicle and come out here hop to in and come on out and uh, watch this in person. Yeah. It really is quite a, especially when, <laughs> especially when those those uh, mods get out there and roaring and roar. You can really feel it up here. Yep. In, yep. The, in the in the on the top of the hill. We we've, we've still got some benches on the seating on the hill that aren't taken up. Uh, we've still got more to put in yet. Uh, that's one of the other projects that we've got on the go. Is right. uh, Get some more spectator seating, although, you know, you can bring a blanket, bring a chair, and sit on the hill and look down on the track, which which is lovely about this particular facility is that you can sit down and look at the track and, and see the whole track from one spot. Yeah, absolutely. It's really not a bad seat in the house. Yeah. But we need more spectators we, we to need more fill spectators. those benches. Exactly. Right? So uh, uh, come on out here yeah. and enjoy. It's only $5. And if you don't make it here today, next Friday, uh, I want to remind everybody again, you're going to be at the Thorndale Fair. Thorndale Fair. We'll be up there doing a full race program with them. Uh, our program will start at 7.30. Uh, they got the Power Wheels event started, uh, scheduled for 7 o'clock. Uh, and that is that something new that you're doing, is, is going to the fairs? or? Nope, nope. We've always gone to, to fairs. They, they change from year to year. Okay. Uh Thorndale, uh, we've been there before. We met. With, they had a program where you could only go twice a year, twice in a row, and then they had to find another act to go in and take your okay, place. Well, right. uh, but this year we were booked back in again, uh, doing a Friday night versus a Saturday or Sunday. Right. Which first time, uh, we're going to be the first ones on the track, which means we get to groom the track and make oh, okay. sure it's set up for us. Uh, we've had some times where we've had to follow a demolition derby. 
that's pretty hard on the on the track and right. pretty hard on the racers when it comes time to bouncing around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, and Brigden Fair this year, they're building us a new track in front of the grandstand. So, oh wow, uh, looking forward to doing that this year. It should yeah. be a, should be a good race. We we have followed the heavy horses in the past, and uh, that wasn't the best location. Right. <laughs> you just need to go first. We need to go first, yes. <laughs> just, uh, put that in the contract. <laughs> yeah. We'll be there, but we got to go first. <laughs> but, uh, but we, you know, we, we don't, uh, we do charge to go to uh, to these events because it's part of our uh, mandate is we try to raise funds to sponsor yeah. local charities and so on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, depending on the event and so on, we're, we're flexible in, in what sure. we charge because we uh, uh, we're there to entertain the crowd. That's our mandate. We want to entertain the crowd. Yeah. And yeah. the bigger the crowd is, the better we like it. They get cheering for you. Oh, yeah. Put on yeah. a show. and Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, now, so you will, you'll, you'll race at, the, at, the, at these fairs? or We'll put on the same program at Thorndale is what we're doing right here. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, we do the Thamesville Fair pretty well every year. Yeah. Uh, Thamesville Threshing Festival. Uh, we have been to the Park Hill uh fair uh, last year the, i think we'll be going next year maybe okay uh working on that uh, uh we've been to the sobel speedway uh they built a track on the inside of their track a few years ago so we were up there for a few years okay. and is it always a, it's, it's always a dirt track right like always a dirt track do we, this on we don't do or... we're not set up for asphalt yeah no uh i mean real but, racing happens on dirt eh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're dirt track racers. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and uh, but Ryan Kerr, our uh, our past president, he's our, our tech fellow right now. And uh, this is lawnmower racing is what he does for a living. Uh, he used to be the U.S. national champion. Oh wow! For uh, lawnmower racing, uh, and uh, that's quite a feat. Yeah. Uh, it was because of his uh, lawnmower builds that they've actually now got the outlaw class in the U.S. They didn't used to have it over there. Now, do you, can we find this on television anywhere? Occasionally, you'll pick it up. Uh, rarely on television. Can't say there, that I've ever seen it. You, YouTube have a, if you Google lawnmower racing on YouTube, you'll oh, pick okay. up some sites. All right. Uh, and speaking of YouTube, our friend Jeff Lacroix is uh, from Car Wars. They're uh, filming this today as well, and they'll have that up uh, later today on their YouTube channel. Car Wars with a Z on the end. Z or Z, depends where you're watching from. <laughs> exactly, and we, we but, uh, really appreciate what Jeff has put on the on the YouTube for us because uh, he's done some great pictures, great great video for us. Yeah, it looks like uh, oh, it looks like maybe the guys decide they want to put some water on after the juniors, maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, want to say a shout out to uh, RPM Designs, one of your sponsors here today as well. Right, RPM Designs done a lot of our graphic work for us been very generous in what they've uh, what they've done for it they're located in Chatham uh, Dean outhouse is the uh, uh, is the owner down there okay uh, actually uh, my machine is uh, detailed for the kidney foundation which is a, uh, a group I support and uh, he donated all the deck wing on my machine uh, for uh, for the kidney foundation so uh, if you want something decal detailed uh, decal not detailed but decal uh, <laughs> he's the uh, He'll do you a good job. RPM Designs. RPM you. Designs. Uh, if you see a yellow chip truck under the br under the bridge, he did that detail or deck oh, on that right? truck okay. on that trailer. Yep. Right. Yep. Well, great to have community support. That that certainly uh, makes things work well, right? It but, does. Uh, yes. Um, you're always willing to take on more, though, right? Always willing to take <laughs> on more. Yep. yep. Uh, as I say. We're growing. We've got members that come, then their interests change, and they move on, and that's that's part of life. I mean, yeah. that's just uh, what happens. I like, would think a lawnmower company would be a good. We used to have um, Troy Belt as one of our sponsors, but they uh, a few years ago they changed their advertising direction. Okay. And so uh, we lost them, but uh, yeah, uh, lawnmower. A lot more maintenance company. I mean, we can show how well their equipment will hang on. Right. So, you know, right. We, we can we can show how well it, <laughs> how well it lasts, and especially the uh, the manufacturers, uh, 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 MTD especially, who build a lot of different brands. Uh, it's the uh, we we put a lot of work, a lot of pressure on their equipment. I'll tell you, and it, and it takes it. It takes it. Now on the number 13 here now. The 86 machine broke the last race. It looks like maybe he's not going to be able to get it fixed today. So in this form of generosity, the driver of this machine said, hey, you go out and take the second race in my machine. Uh, this is your turn. 
So as I say, this is uh, how we share and, and you let everybody have a chance to uh, enjoy the day. He's out there by himself, but he's out there running around the track in front of people. Now this this would be my speed here, I think, Wayne. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they keep trying to. I know Kimberly, your daughter's working really hard at uh, campaigning to have me on. Yep. Yep. It yep. might happen. Yep. I don't know. Well, you know, we ha we had uh, a preferred towing group out here at the end of July. Yes. We did a fundraiser for them, and uh, we had Gary and Colin from 401 uh, Rescue and Mother. Uh, Tammy out here. Was we, she racing too? She was racing. Oh wow. <laughs> we put the three of them on a moor at the very beginning of the show. We almost had to drop the red flag in order to get them off the track. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, they were having a ball. Family competition and, uh, out there for sure. Yep. Who uh, won that race? Uh, I think Colin did. Colin we, did. We, we kind of set him up with the fastest moor because we knew he'd like speed. Right. Uh, he would. We're trying, to, we're trying to convince him to become a part of the club. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, and you, you really you couldn't ask for uh, a better family to participate in something like this. Uh, of course, uh, Stars of Heavy Rescue 401. Um, I've known them for 28 years and from day one when they started their company. I drove for them, actually. Uh -huh. And uh, they're really give back people as well. So uh, to, for them to be out here is fantastic as yep, well. Yeah, we, uh, we really we wanted to do something. We weren't sure what we could do. So we said, well, let's put a race on for them. And they, they brought out the big uh, heavy truck and sat yeah. on the hill here. And the fans could kind of look at it and so on. Yeah. We did some pictures and so on. Uh, unfortunately, that particular night after they got done their race, the sky opened up and we got a torrential downpour and we had to end our program for that night. So did, did you have other, uh, that might be a good idea to raise some money, is have local businesses come out and race each other. Well, <laughs> that, that's also another option we would be more than happy to, you know, get McGregor Auto Sales over here and say, hey, come on, get your salesman out here and we'll find you some machines and you can have a little, yeah. a little competitive competition and get some good advertising for you at the same time. Uh, Yes, we would be more than I happy. Think, for that I think I think now there would be the time you might get me on a tractor. Well, let's put a race against uh, myself and Gary from Preferred Towing. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. There you go. I'll the, do that. Okay, we got you, Buck. <laughs> we got you, Buck. And uh, speaking of sponsorship opportunities, of course, you can reach out to the club. But um, this is kind of a pilot project what we're doing with the live streaming. But if we continue this, we could definitely find some sponsors to support the oh, broadcast here yeah, today, right? Yeah. So. A, lot, a lot of the comments we get when we look for sponsors saying, well, we, where are we going to be able to see our advertising? Because we can't advertise in the road because of it being the yeah. the, the highway. Yeah. And uh, so we're, because the track is behind a hill, but nobody can see it. But this venue here, we're hoping, is going to open up the doors so that people can see that advertising and say, yes, there is a viable opportunity that for our yeah, advertising to be seen. And, uh, yeah. you know, along with our website and... Uh, uh, whatever venue we can work with you to make happen, we're more than happy to uh, to see that happen. Well, let's yeah. put the, uh, I don't think I've had it up there just yet. What is the website? Uh, WesternOntarioOutlaws.com. Okay. WesternOntarioOutlaws.com. Did I spell it right? I did, I think. A one man show here today. <laughs> there we go. For all to see. There you go. Yep. WesternOntarioList.com. And of course on Facebook, uh, it's not a page, it's a, a group. Facebook group. Right, so you can ask to join the group there. Western Ontario Outlaws. And then Kelly was asking, sorry Wayne, yeah. uh, Kelly was asking again, uh, do the racers have sponsors? Some of them do. Yeah. Uh, again, the sponsors are asking, well, where are we going to get shown? Uh, if you notice Corey LaPointe, he's got Wise Guys Pizza on the hood of his vehicle. Oh, okay. That's because the 21 in the Outlaw class used to own that machine. Wise Guys is a sponsor for Xander. And Corey's never taken the deco off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Wise Guys have been very generous. Uh, with with Xander and also with the club, uh, they've donated uh, pizza different times for us when we've had uh, events. And in fact, uh, 401 towing when we were rained out, we had, you know, uh, they had a power failure in town. The wise guys brought us out of half a dozen pizzas to uh, for us to enjoy because he couldn't sell them because he was out of power and couldn't right. make any more. 
and knew we were out here racing, and uh, so he brought us out some pizza. Somebody might as well eat them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, but anybody, uh, you know, I've got kidney foundation on my machine. I mean, uh, they're not paying me to do that. That's because I'm involved in that organization yeah. fundraising. But uh, there's always opportunity for people to put a name on a moor or on the side of a trailer. Right. Uh, one of their well, I see this on. trailer beside us here. It says, call Glenn. Glenn LaPointe is our major sponsor. Okay. Uh, Glenn has, he's never missed a race at this track except for the race that he had a heart attack. Right, you were saying and, that. And earlier. we got rained and out. he's over here to our left. Glenn is over on our left, yep. sits on the hill. He and his wife, uh, Joan. Uh, Joan helps cut the grass out here. She bought a lawnmower so she could cut grass out here. Wow. Uh, <laughs> she and, and Dean Burns, they take care of all our grass maintenance, which is a fairly amount, of, fair amount of grass. Uh, every week they come out here and they cut it to make sure that uh, it's looking nice and in good shape. It is in good and, shape. Uh, and, sure. and, and it looks nice from the road for, their, for our uh, landlord. And know. I see, uh, so we're watering the track here yeah. now. Um, and then that, they'll give that time to dry? or, or they'll, they'll give a little bit of time to dry. We've had our junior racers out of here already. So the, the next class is they can handle a little bit of water. Right. Uh, they'll work it in a little bit. Uh, by the time we get to our mod class, mod class, because they got so much power, they're good at working the track in. Okay. Uh, they'll be ready to race. But uh, the big thing is to not get too much water laying on the track. Just want to damp the surface and, uh, and, and get and the dust down. To get the dust out of there yeah, and, and yeah. a little more grip? It'll, oh, yeah. If we can get this track wet enough, to give it'll get real sticky. And then it's a beautiful thing to run on because right. it's, it's just... And, and who's, who's this we have beside us here, uh, a racer? Could, could I... Would you come on and talk with us? Wayne, we're going to kick you out of here. And, and I just... If you want to give her the headphones... I will do that. And uh, give her an opportunity to be seen here. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, what's your what's your name? Oh, my name's Dara. Dara. And how yeah. old are you? I am fi uh, 15 turning 16. Uh, sorry? I'm 15 turning 16. 15 turning 16. When do you turn 16? I'm just going to fix your mic there a little bit so we can hear it. There you uh, go. In November. In November? Yeah. Well, happy early birthday. Thanks. So how, how long, you're 15 years old, and how old were you when you started doing this racing? I was seven. Seven years yeah, old. Yeah, I started when I was seven. What, what was it about this that said, oh, I want to go race lawnmowers? Um, I'm not sure. I kind of just saw my grandpa do it and I ah. thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. how many how many races have you done? I have no idea. Like 100 or 50 or? Probably, yeah. Whole bunch? Yeah. yeah, between 150 maybe. Yeah, okay. What is it about the racing that you like? I just, I like having the competition and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. You like to win? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so do you see yourself doing this for a long time? Yeah, I hope that I can keep going and, you know, yeah. keep racing do, as long as I can. Want, do you want to travel a bit? Like, will you go to other cities and do this? Is that something you'd like to do? Um... Not really. I like to just stay at our track and do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, uh, how how fat? What's the fastest you've gone on this track? Would you say? Um, I've driven my grandpa's uh, machine on this track. Yeah. Yeah, I've tried it out, and it's probably the fastest one I've ever gone on. So how fast would that be? Like forty-five miles an hour, maybe? Or 50? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, around fifty, yeah. I think. And do you like that? Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Would you like to go faster someday than that? Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now, um, sometimes these things break down and whatnot. Have you learned to be so, a bit of a mechanic, like or maintenance? Like, do you look after your own lawnmower with with some help? Or? Um, I don't look after my grandpa does, but I can, I can definitely tell on the track if my machine starts to break down. I can kind of tell what's happening. You know what's gonna. You kind of feel it. So can you sort of tell if something's gonna go wrong? Yeah. Uh, last race, my belt broke and I, I knew as soon as I was slowing down I could tell it, yeah, yeah, that yeah. it was my belt that was coming off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, do, do you do you come out and practice here at times? Like how do you practice this other than just on um, race day? I really can't. I live all the way in Guelph. Okay. So it's a lot a bit of a trip to come. Yeah. But before every race we come out maybe two hours early and I get some hot laps in and stuff. Okay. Right, yeah. right, right. Now I see you got th is this uh, around you here. Is that kind of a safety gear? Yeah, it's a neck brace. So if you go flying off your machine or something happens, it right. will keep your safe. Keep yeah. you safe. Now, what about mom and dad? Uh, were, were they nervous? Like, the f did they get nervous watching you out there? Um, my mom has been a few times once I've uh, broken down. One time I uh, went straight into the reeds. Oh, I was okay. in uh, junior class. Uh, my steering broke. And I went straight. It was straight in. Be a little scary. Yeah. Were you scared? 
No, I I was <laughs> I was really confused why I wasn't turning, and then I just kept going. I turned turned off my machine. Oh, okay. The first thing we learn is to pull our tethers out so they can, because it stops the whole machine. So I just did that and. Oh, so you have like a like a kill switch? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like it's an attached. To, it's a attached to our. Uh, oh, okay. Boat I don't loop. Know if we can see that. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I got a tether. Oh, that's yeah. smart. Okay. So it's like a key, and it, it, if you don't have it in, your machine won't start. Right, right. So if you pull it out, your whole machine stops. Okay. So. Sort of, sort of a safety thing then. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for sitting here and talking <laughs> with me. Are you going to be racing again, or? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'll be out in the next race. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right. We'll be watching. Thanks. Thanks again. Well, there you go. A racer. <laughs> and that was. Sorry. One second. Oh yeah, if she wants to stand in front of that camera there, we're going to give you a, a little bit of a demonstration. Yeah. Just go stand on the other side of that camera. Yeah, there you go. You go yep. You're going to just have to there. walk back. A, just walk back a couple of steps so we can see you better. We're going to, Wayne's going to talk about oh, safety. Okay, just want to touch a little bit about what we do about safety. We talk about safety. You know, Dara is wearing what, what I call a modified Hans device. It's got a strap that goes under the arms. It's got a if she turns around, you'll notice there's a, a piece that supports her back, so if her head was a snap back, it's going to catch on her back and it's going to prevent injury to her neck. We wear long sleeve, long pants, over the ankle shoes. Uh, every machine has a tether. You'll see a red thing hanging there in her hand. That's tethered on the machine, so if she was to fall off the machine for some reason, it's going to shut down automatically. Uh, safety is very, very important to us, and it's one of the things we insist on happening. But uh, she doesn't have to wear that type of a Hans device or that type of neck brace, but uh, his grandpa, he's kind of got it for her because he wants her to be safe, safe, safe. Good idea. Thank you. That's awesome. And uh, Dara? Dara. Dara, yeah. yeah. 15 years old, lawnmower racing. Said she started at a young age. Started on a junior machine, and uh, this is her escape from reality. Yeah. You know, this is her way of getting away and leaving the cares of life behind and so on. And get out and uh, and have a good time and talking with her she uh she, she really really likes it and she looks forward to it and uh she said it is a bit of a trip to come down from guelph but she's got that family support there and, yeah. and uh so she works a, li a little bit on the machines but grandpa really helps her grandpa out helps her now. but she, she's gonna learn that i would think she can right, learn it time. i mean uh, i've got uh, three machines here today uh, if I would say, okay, load the trailer, she can load them all in the trailer and have everything all ready, closed up, and I can just hook on and go home. She, yeah. She's that skilled at it. If she well, needs to good. check her oil, check her belts, or anything like that, she can handle that. And they're running out there right now to her machine. She Looks like she, they're, she's uh, coming up in the next race. Yeah, they're getting ready to. they got the water in the track. Looks like they're going to go out and, and play in the mud because there's <laughs> going to be a little mud coming off these right. tires for a bit here now. Right. And I talked to Dara about, uh, you know, how, how about... How does mom feel sometimes racing out there? And she said one time she went into the the, the the weeds or the vines or whatever. And I said, were you scared? She said, nah. She said, I got my tether there. She was explaining that. But mom was a little nervous, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and exactly. that's, uh, again, back to the safety point. That's why that's important. Yep, to, yep. You uh, know, just top on a machine and go for a ride. No. And uh, as I say safety is something that we take very serious. Uh, there are some clubs around though running short sleeves and uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, I just we we just don't consider yeah. that. Yeah, like I safe. couldn't go in this. Right? No, no, nope. I got, got a, my shorts and no. shorts. And that, shirt not to say we couldn't get you suited up because we probably have the outfit around. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to let it go. I got a feeling I'm going to end up on one of these things before it's over. <laughs> I, I think I've got three different race jackets that we know okay. we can. I got to <laughs> have a big helmet though. I'm a 4X helmet. I didn't bring my motorcycle. Okay. Helmet. Well, we probably have a helmet have, that would work. I have an, oh, I'm not getting out of this. I don't think at all. I'll do it if you can suit yep. me up. I'll do it for sure. We'll, we'll get you. We'll get you and Gary out there. And oh yeah, I'd like to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, them up so, over here. So now, ready. after we got a little bit of water on the track, and we'll go to the second set of heat races here now. We've, we had our junior out there earlier. Uh, he wasn't been very good after the with a wet track. Uh, these guys, they'll be able to handle it. All right, what class is this again? This is Economod. Okay. So these are an eight-horse motor, governed at 3650. 
this is a stepping stone from the junior class so it's not super fast uh, but it's not limited to just uh, those who are moving out of junior it's whatever you feel comfortable right depends what level of, uh, of interest and speed you have uh, Dara will go up to the mini mod next year for sure if not modified there you can see some of the mud flying maybe yeah uh, uh, I think Lauren's going to let him work it in a bit. Oh yeah, they're really tearing up the mud there. Yeah. Now is that top speed for these, or were they, or are they just uh, taking it easy? They're not quite up to top speed yet. Uh, yeah. I, I got a feeling they're probably one gear down. Okay. And uh, these machines, uh, run either a transaxle, well, these both have got a transaxle, this is what you get in your regular rider. We change the gearing on them, different pulleys and belts and so on, to get more speed. Now what about the tires? I haven't had a close look, are they, yeah. are, do they have a traction on them or are yes. they slicks or? The, these are lawnmower tires, okay. uh, they're turf tires, uh, these are turf masters, these particular tires I run on these, you can run a turf saver. The turf masters, the uh, tread is, is angled. So they're actually self-cleaning. So when you see them going through all that mud, the reason it's flying off is because it's spitting the mud off the tire. Right. Yeah, they're going to give them a few laps to kind of work that track in a little bit. And number one, to keep it safe, but also to uh, make for better racing for them. Conditions are certainly important in this. Uh, well, I guess that's sort of a safety factor as well, yep. too, right? Yep. I see Lorne with the green flag in hand, so I got a feeling he's getting ready to start him. Wants to make sure everything's and Dana, our scorekeeper over there, she's been doing this since the club was formed back in 2007. There's the green flag. There we go. Double zero with a quick lead. We saw them racing earlier, didn't we? Oh, a little bit of a... <laughs> what she's saying right now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably saying, oh crap. <laughs> yeah. We should, should we mic up, mic up one of the racers sometime and see if we can, uh, probably, maybe not. <laughs> I've often thought about being able to put on a wireless microphone and going out there and explain what's going on as I'm racing around the track. Yeah. We but could uh, actually, yeah. we could actually, and, and if we do this again, we could get a, a camera on the front of one of these suckers yep. or on your helmet and we can broadcast it live. Yep. So that would be quite a, that would be something too. And, and several of our racers have got GoPro cameras, cameras on their machine already. Yeah. Uh, whether they're Bluetooth or connectability or anything like that, I don't know. But yeah. uh, uh, They're likely just recording it. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, we can do but, that. Uh, uh, we'll have to look there at There we go. They're going to give them a second chance. Yeah, give them another chance. I d wasn't paying attention. I don't think they finished the first lap. So our rule is... If you uh, have a caution in the first lap, then you have to. Then we restart the race oh, all over okay. again. Fair enough. Fair that, enough. That's kind of a, a racing rule in uh, most racetracks. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Except for NASCAR. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is redneck NASCAR. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you're just tuning in, you're watching Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing here live in Petrolia. We appreciate you uh, watching us. If you have any comments or questions for Wayne, you can uh, enter your comments on our Facebook page, and we'll see the comments here in our broadcast. We'd be happy to answer. This is, uh, and, and every race, every class, it's always 10 laps. Yes. Well, uh, unless, uh, as it has happened in the odd time where the temperature has been up over 100 degrees, our modified class and our outlaw class, supermodified, sometimes they'll say, hey, let's cut it back to eight just because of the heat factor. Right, okay. But uh, Speaking of heat factor, when you're on these machines, is there is there heat coming? Like, are you feeling the heat off the motors? Not really, no. 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 Uh, our exhaust is directed away from the, away from the driver. 
And it's open exhaust, so I mean, uh, if you look at these things, the exhaust is ahead of your foot usually. But uh, not bad, not bad at all for okay. heat off the machines. And what speed are we seeing here? About oh, 20 miles an hour? Yeah, about 20 miles yeah, an hour. Okay. Yeah, uh, the the track being wet, they're not getting, they're not able to hold it wide open to get their feet fully up to speed. They're slipping around enough, wiping the dirt off of their helmet so they can see where they're going. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important. Yep. See where you're going. <laughs> uh, there, there's been times where uh, I've carried a cloth in my inside my race jacket just to keep wiping my helmet off because it would just be covered in mud and you wouldn't see anything. So that's the redneck part of it. Get out right. and play in the mud and have fun. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, you know, I see everybody, again, standing around and watching, and uh, everybody's enjoying themselves, and uh, they're having hot dogs and hamburgers, and uh, $5. What a, what a great way to come out and enjoy when you have the nice weather and just uh, yep. relax and, in yeah. a chair. And if you're in the area, it's not too late to come by and see a little bit of racing yet. Yeah. And then hopefully again on September the 29th. September the 29th. And does it always start at 2 o'clock in the afternoon? Always start at 2 o'clock okay. in the afternoon, yep. Uh, part of the reason was that uh, we know we've got people who are involved in church activities and things in the morning. We wanted to make sure that we didn't infringe on their rights. Uh, right. And uh, allow them to uh, be part of that. Our flagman is very concerned that he gets to uh, be part of his church family on Sunday morning. Yes. And so, yeah, we run at 2 o'clock. Uh, very rare for a track to be open in the afternoon just because of the heat. Right. Uh, a lot right. of places run at night because it's a little cooler and they can keep the track wet. Right. But, uh, we uh, we brave the elements as far as temperature goes, and uh, we're fortunate to have lots of water to be able to water the track down. Kelly's uh, asking another question here. Do you ever go out to Oshweekin? Speedway? We did go to Oshwegan a few years ago with our Outlaw and Supermod class and put on a just a dem demonstration on the uh, small track in at Oshwegan. Okay. Uh, it wasn't a real great experience. It was bumpy. All oh, the poor the guys didn't like it at all because oh, it was so right. rough. I mean, it's meant for cars to race on, eh? So there was dirt clods and so on. But uh, uh, if we had a you know a reasonable smooth enough place to go down, we'd be more than happy to go down to Oshwegan. Uh, we're trying to work on getting down to South, Buxton, well, Southern Ontario Speedway used to be South Buxton. Okay. Uh, to do kind of a demonstration down there at that track. Uh, so we're open all the time to uh, to do try to travel around and and uh, and sponsor uh, our program wherever. And we go down. We do that for nothing. We do that just as a as a promo to bring another element to the racing program at their track and to uh, demonstrate what we've got to offer. Yeah. And again, uh, another one of the reasons why you're going to be at the Thorndale Fair on Friday, right? Yep, uh, yep. Uh, great opportunity for yep. people to come out and uh, see what you're all about if they can't make it out here. Yep. Uh, I chuckled. We were up there a few years ago, and I was doing the announcing, and uh, the fellows were out there. They are doing some hot laps and so on, rip around. And so I, I asked the crowd, I said, how many in the crowd would like to come out and try lawnmower racing? Oh, I had three or four hands go up along with a bunch of other ones. I said, well, come on down. So... These three young people come down, and I had a couple of three push mowers back in the pits that we pulled out, and <laughs> we got to push them around the track. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the crowd had a good time seeing that happen. They they were good sports about it. Oh, I see my son Jason is watching. Uh, oh, he says good audio. Thanks. We were having audio <laughs> troubles last week, so Jason, uh, you're missing it out here. They were. I, I, maybe I didn't tell them that they, they would have put you on one of these lawnmowers. You got her. That 55 over there is all ready for a driver. There you go. <laughs> Look at that Ashton. She's out there again. A little slipperier, though. <laughs> uh, we're going to see a, a restart here. I would say so, yep. Yeah. At least you should. Well, he didn't throw the yellow, so I guess he's figuring out, okay, it's fair game. She's got going fast enough. Uh, She'd have done better to sit there, maybe. You'd have done better to sit there and let. <laughs> exactly. And that's oh, I can't get going. Oh, darn. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and that's the game that racers do. You watch it a lot of tracks. They'll sit there. I uh, can't get it started. Can't caution come out. And then they'll, oh, there it goes. Reason yeah. being, now they've caught up to the back. So it looks like she's just going to take her time and not push it. She'll make it a race the next time. Make it uh, a learning experience yep. this time around. 
Well, nothing, and nothing wrong with that, right? I Not mean, at all. A, no. This is uh, it's, it is about bragging rights, but it's about getting some experience under your belt every time you go. Every every lap you take, you get some more experience. Every, right? every trap you say, well, how fast can I go to that corner? Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. If it don't work, you try something different. I would think um, egos would have to be controlled sometimes. On, uh, like I would have to. I'd want to go <laughs> really fast. Us guys like to go as fast yep. as we can and. You got to know when to slow down. You got to know when to slow down and uh, realize that you're you're not really taking home a paycheck at the end of the <laughs> that's day. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know they are earning points, and uh, at the end of the year we'll have a banquet and we'll give out oh, trophies. Is, oh, is that right? Okay. Yep. And where do you usually have that? Uh, usually it's at the fire hall in Brigden. Okay. So we have a connection there, so uh, nice. we generally have a a banquet with turkey and all the trimmings and whatever else they bring in to eat and. Uh, we show some video of some of our racing during the year. Now yeah. I would I I just want to go over what's the girl's name? Is that, that Sarah? That, that's Sarah. Right. Sarah Lapointe. So when she came around, now I noticed she's turning her steering wheel right but going left. That's right. <coughs> when is you, that what we know? Because uh, we learned from Fast and Furious. Is that hey, drifting? You got her when you you got her turn right to go left in these things. At a certain speed. Yep. At a yep. slower speed, yep. not when, necessarily. When you're, going around the, when you're going around, if you're going around fast enough, it wants to, it wants to spin. So you got to turn left. Is in that order is to that similar principles to say a motorcycle when you're, you're like we call it counter steering? Yep. Push right to go right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And that's really the fun part of the whole racing experience. I was going to say that would be yeah. <laughs> getting out there and, and having to just crank that thing to the right to go left and, and it takes a while to figure out where that point is there's a point where you got to let up in order yeah. for it to turn and uh, it took me a while to get a hang of, of that uh, the uh, the past president Gary Kerr he gets so frustrated with me I'd get out there and then I'd spin out because I was trying to find that right. point where it was going to spin around on me well we'll finish that race sir yeah. we'll take that race uh, that's uh, that's our mini mod class and what's and coming up next? Now we've got our modified class. And as I look over in the pits, I think Sarah, who just finished running the mini mod, is jumping on her brother's mod, the 22. Oh. And so she's going to jump up a class and, and give this one a try. We're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Maybe two. eight. I think that we got eight in this class. Is Dara yeah. in this one? No. Oh, no. Okay. Dara is qualified to go in this class. Oh, okay. She's old enough. To, you have to be 16 to go in this class. Uh, she's she'll be that age. She's that age this year, so she yep. qualify. Uh, but she'll probably go up to the mini mod just as a stepping stone because of the faster speed. Right. Uh, if she likes that, uh, we'll put her in 18 horse a few races later. She has raced my my 55 machine. Okay. In limited uh, situations, so. Uh, There's number 88. Yeah. Looking anxious here. That's Logan Antoine out of Petrolia. His dad is the one that built the uh, red and white one that just ran. Okay. Not his dad. His grandfather, uh, Dean Burns. Coming out to the track here. Yeah. And three, six, seven. Yeah, we've got eight out here. Yeah. And again, Sarah back out on the track, so she's. She's enjoying her day. <laughs> She's enjoying her day. Sarah is a racer, and she is a gal of many, many talents. Now, how is the order decided when they come out onto the track? Uh, Dana does that. I think they go by points from the previous race weekend. Okay. And then they invert them. So somebody's keeping track of all of this. Yep, That's Dana. Dana over the hill. She's right. keeping track of all that. And we've got the go flag here, and now they're roaring. Yep. The modified class. Or the louder class. <laughs> that white machine is struggling because this is the first time he's been on a real slippery track in a pack. Right. So he's uh, he's learning the ropes, how to get around with people, eh? He's doing well. This was number five that uh, we saw earlier. Yep. Somebody was uh, rooting for him. Yeah. He, he just bought that machine a few weeks ago. And how old would he be? I'm going to say he's about 17. Okay. Uh, wow, coming outside strong there, but <laughs> no fear out here. No. 
Now we have Corey now with Jasper in the green machine in second place. He runs the purple nurple. So he's, oh, okay. he's, he's used to speed. He may give he may give Corey a run for his money. Well, I think he should. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let Corey win twice today. You got her. And that's probably what he's thinking. I'm right on your tail here, little point. <laughs> There's two separate races happening here right now. Yep, the back of the pack there, right in there, good and tight. This, they make it look so easy. Whoa! Oh. Well, we're, we're okay. A little, a little bit of bumper cars going on here. A little bit of bumper here. there, yep. Some excitement for the crowd. Corey, though, holding strong onto his lead. He, he's like, no way, fella. Number five there seems to just be laying back a little bit. Yep, so. yep, he's gaining experience. First year driver. Oh, it looked like there was oh. going to be a move there. He's, he's on the right tail. on him. <laughs> Holding on tight here. I'd really like to see Corey get past. <laughs> wow. You really don't know what it is until you're here in person experience. Boy. <laughs> Last lap, white flat back. Last chance, he says. Uh, it's not looking good. And Corey LaPointe <laughs> does it again, and he's... He says, I beat him. He felt it. <laughs> he felt it. <laughs> Giving the thumbs up to his opponent there. Yep, yep. Again, a lot of respect out there on the track. And uh, I guess the respect, uh, that's part of the safety thing too, that's right? That's part of the safety thing. Uh, there's protocol. Uh, you know, if you're at, if you're not up to somebody's back wheel, uh, you've got no right to moving, you know, especially on the inside. If you're not up to his mid, midway in between the front and the rear wheel, uh, you don't have that spot on the inside. You, you, you lay back and let him have that spot. Oh, is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, NASCAR, of course. <laughs> you're going to push your way in as far as you can get, and you're right. going to push him out of the way. It's, well, but, uh, it's not family friendly, though. <laughs> no, no, no. We can tell that with the Bush brothers, eh? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. And there's Corey. And, uh, you know, we're doing open wheel racing. I think Corey's going to go out with Tim this time in the super mods uh, because it looks like the other super mod may be out. Uh, Corey's borderline whether he should be running super mod or not. Uh, that's a well-built machine. It's a Riker racing machine, so it's uh, it's just built to go fast. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the point. Yep. <laughs> you know, the the easier you can get them to roll, the faster they're going to go. And uh, Ryan Kerr, he's he's got them down to a science. There we go. There we go. Uh oh. Uh-oh, I think the 21, I think the two blew a chain maybe. Sounds like he blew a chain off. That's unfortunate. Yes. So, now some are chain driven, some are belt driven, or uh, is there? Most, most of them will have a chain to the rear axle. Now some of them got horizontal engines. Okay. And so they go right from the engine to, to a, uh, uh, to a, uh, yeah, what do they call it? It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, uh, and it would be a chain direct from the engine back to the rear wheels. Uh, some of them run a, tra uh, run a vertical motor, so they'll run to a, to a clutch on the motor and a belt back to a gearbox of some sort, okay. and, then a and then a chain. We see uh, Tim is pushing his mower off, so it sounds like he's probably got something he's got to go back to the pits in order to repair. Uh, these things twist a fair amount. Uh, you'd wonder at it, but these frames are, are not solid, and they do flex, and sometimes that'll throw the alignment out on, on a chain, especially if it's just in the right spot. Okay. Kelly's asking, miss the location of Petrolia, Ontario, can we have again? Yeah, so it's uh, right here. This is 21, right? 21 Highway. Oil, or Oil Heritage Road. Oil, Oil Heritage Road, yeah. Just, uh, we're just north of the lights of 10th Line. Um, on the uh, east side of the road, right next to the landfill. Right side. next to the landfill, yep, north yeah. side. 
If you scoot out right now, you'll see us parked on the hills. That's right. Yeah, lots of people up here, actually. It's a good turnout, decent yep. turnout. Yep. But lots of room for more. Lots of room for more. Uh, if you are in a situation where you uh, got a disability of whatever and you need to have a better f viewpoint from other than walking up the hill, we've got provision where you can drive your vehicle up to the top of the hill and sit in your vehicle. Oh, perfect. Look down on the track. We'll accommodate that one way right. or the other. So accessibility for everyone. Yep. Okay, so here we got Xander in the 21 Wise Guys Outlaw. And this, uh, so, what, so what class is this? This is the Outlaw class. Outlaw class, okay. And, uh, so this means anything goes? Anything goes. Uh, these guys will get, uh, they're, they're limited to the size of motor they can have, a uh, cubic inch, which is, uh, I think the maximum size you can have is a 22 horsepower, whatever cubic inch that would be. Okay. But they're putting out 70, 80 horsepower out of these things. Wow. <laughs> The purple nurple. Wow. No holds barred here. No holds barred. Seeing 45, 50 miles an hour right now? Yep, yep. The wheels are going a lot faster than that. Purple Nurple, some struggles out there, but not stopping. He's just going to have fun now. Yeah. <laughs> the secret with these guys, you, you get her straightened out and you hand her down. this again at number 21? This is Xander Kerr, 15 okay. years old. Wow. Doesn't take long to do 10 laps on these guys. No. <laughs> well, and you're, you're really, you know, you're happy to see the guy that wins, but you really feel bad for Purple Nerve <laughs> right now. You know, it's, that's that one error. And you go, ah, you just, know. just takes one little, and I mean, you keep going because the same thing could happen to the 21 in the next lap. Well, yeah. I was just yeah. going to say, like, don't quit, right? Because exactly. that could, yeah, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. You never know what's going to happen. I would think one of the things that would bother me if it, when you spin out in a corner or you lose it or whatever, once I get going, the next time I come around to that same spot, am I a little hesitant or more cautious? And what, what did does I do that last slow time? <laughs> yep, yep. You're, you're aware of it. I mean, I had a crash over in turn four uh, a year ago, August. Uh, there was a soft spot, and I just caught it the right way and flipped the machine. Right. And I was a little timid in that particular spot. Yeah. Next few races till you get over it, eh? Yeah. It's uh, a real mental game going oh, on out there yeah, on that track, yeah, too, for right? sure. Yep. Yeah. And it happens real quick. I mean, uh, these things, once they bite in or decide they're going to do something you don't want them to do, right. they're hard to control. But... As I say, we keep the center of gravity low enough that very rarely do we get anything like that happen. Pretty, pretty hard to do. It's it's got to be something pretty significant. In that case, I had a flat tire and hit a, hit a pothole. Right. I mean, uh, the combination of the two, the, yeah. there was no way it wasn't going over. I remember going to uh, Grand Bend as a child or a teenager with my dad. They had go-karts. Uh, I don't think it's there anymore, but they had go-karts and little Honda mini bikes. But going around that track, I was so careful. My dad was just giving her, and I could never understand why. And there was that thing. They were so low to the ground. He's like, you don't need brakes except for when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you down, just go, I, right? I, I've been to some indoor kart racing. Okay. 
Uh, it just blows my mind how fast these little kids go. I mean, I'm talking five, six, seven years old. <laughs> no fear, you know, yeah. and on, on an indoor track, and they just, they go. Yeah. And uh, if you go down to Tilbury, they've got an outdoor dirt track oh, about the same size as ours. Uh, for go karts, and those little kids get out there and they just let it go. Yeah. Uh, no fear. No fear. That can be no a problem, fear. can it? Well, it it can be, but again, the nature of the beast. Those go karts are sitting so low. Yeah. That uh, very rarely will they roll. Yeah. Uh, they they even got a ditch around the outside of theirs that I I wouldn't want to be one to go in because I could see <laughs> doing a a cartwheel, but. Uh, they get along with, but it, it's it's the center of gravity being low. That's what keeps you uh, yeah hooked up for sure. You know, and especially go karts where they get out on asphalt and so on. They're just uh, they're just crazy. Yeah. But that's where a lot of our future not, NASCAR drivers have not started. Not like uh, go karts at Canada's Wonderland. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Your top speed is about 15 miles an hour. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, this track right now is is coming in to the point. We could almost run go karts on this track. It's oh, okay. Al- it's almost smooth enough. Uh, now, what are we seeing? Let's go back out to the track. This is here. the junior. This is the owner of this uh, machine. Now he's he's going out for his future feature laps. Right. Uh, this is the 13. Obviously, the 86 is broke for the day, so he's taking it back out to get his points uh, uh, for the day. And he oh, will, right. I was going to say, the, what's what's the point of running by yourself? But to yeah, get you earn the points, right? Well, earn earn his points. And how old is this young fellow? Uh, he's six and a half. Okay. Uh, his dad has got a uh, an Economon machine that they're going to build for him. Whether he's in it next year or the following year, it all depends on on mom and dad and uh, and how the machine progresses. Dad just bought a more for himself. Ah. The other day. <laughs> okay. Because uh, obviously out here watching the young guy run around, hey, I want to be out there too. Sure. So, absolutely. So I get it, that. It evolves into that family sport, so now Dad wants to get involved. Well, I was just going to say the family thing, you know, he, he gets this out there. Uh, dad and son have got something they can work on together and yep. appreciate together and yep. enjoy. And uh, hey, create some memories, right? Create you know? some memories. Uh, uh Mom is a uh, our future uh, secretary for the club. Okay. And uh, Brenda's been very supportive. But I mean, it, I say it, it just brings a whole avenue, you know, dimension to to the club, you know, with uh, with Corey and his son and his two daughters, mom and dad. Mom right. and dad are main sponsors, and they're sitting here enjoying the race, but they also support us 100%. Uh, we do some trades every once in a while, and uh, it's usually a Call Glen truck that. Uh, we end up sitting on there right. uh, to make sure that uh, we have a good time. So uh, uh, and now I see this young fellow coming around the track when he com- comes by in front of us here. We'll see if he does it again. He's handling this like he's going 50 miles an hour. He's cranking that wheel, yep. and, and uh, he's had some training. Yep, for sure. I guess we've only got just the one power wheel here today, so we were going to try to get a power wheel race in, but okay, uh, looks like maybe that's not going to happen. That would be uh, Gavin Lapointe. That's Corey's grandson. That right. would be Sarah's bun- son. Okay. So it just keeps uh, just keeps going keeps generation going. to generation. Keeps, Corey, generation don't fall and hurt yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> not sure why he's carrying the fire extinguisher unless he realized there was one missing from over here. <coughs> We never know what we're running into because those uh, those two outlaw machines were probably running on alcohol. Oh, really? Uh, so I mean, uh, it's a whole different level of, uh, of fire oh. exposure. Well, I and I saw his. I was out at their uh, their shop, Lugnuts Truck and Trailer Repair, um, the other the other day, and uh, I saw the I saw the machine sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Getting her shined up, Getting so to speak. Shined up. Yep. <laughs> Tuned yep. up. Shined up. Oh, okay, so I see he's put a fire hydrant. He's put a fire extinguisher fire out there. Extinguisher, yeah. Looks like, uh, I think there's one down the there other side. There's one down the other side by the pump there, yeah. yeah. Never, we've you never had never to have them. too many of those, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> you no. read my mind. And uh, shout out to, oh, golly, 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 golly. Yeah, I've lost the company name that supplied us. They donated all our fire extinguishers for us, and I'll come up with their name, and okay. we'll right. give them credit later on here. Absolutely. Well, uh, speaking of credit, let's do that again while we can. Uh, Cartworks. Cart Racing Parts Service Engines. Uh, visit them online at cartworks.ca, a, a major sponsor here as well. And uh, also to RPM Designs, another RPM. sponsor here yep. as well. 
and uh, and call Glenn who is our uh, our premier sponsor uh, without them we wouldn't exist out here today. Now, why would I call Glenn? Why would you call Glenn? What, what it says, well, call Glenn. What am I calling? Call him Glenn for? has uh, your 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 garbage containers or your refuge buckets. Uh, you probably maybe seen them around. They're gray. Yeah. And uh, they've got in the neighborhood of 250 of those things around the area. Wow. Believe it or not. Wow. And uh, you give them a call, and if you talk to Glenn, he'll be there within a couple hours with the bucket for you. Great. Uh, services is, is Glenn's. Uh, middle name when it comes to uh, making sure that you've got uh, a, a container there to, to put your reviews in. And our young driver here will get his, uh, so he gets points. Now what, what's points. the point system? We haven't talked about that. How's that work? Uh, 20 points for winning a uh, heat race and then at the feature race we go to 40 points. So okay. first place gets 40, second place gets 38, third place gets 36. So okay. depending on the number of racers is uh, how fast that drops. So there's not a big spread between winning and coming in second, but over 10 races it adds up. Right. And then they also get points for showing up to race. So the fact that they even showed up today oh, okay. to race, they're going to get points for doing that. Uh, they'll yeah. get they'll get 30 points for showing up at Thorndale. It's a non-points race at Thorndale. Okay. But because they show up, they get 30 points for putting in the effort to be there. All right. And of course we want to put you as many machines out as we can sure because there's no sense uh, being there without a good program for the spectators and that's what we're being paid to go there to put on a show so right. uh, we kind of give a little incentive there to make sure that that happens yeah and then uh, you say you have a banquet at the end of the year the end so of the they, year in november trophies and stuff we'll yep we'll have trophies and uh, a good meal and some pictures and uh, who knows what else we'll have in hidden in the background that i don't want to talk about right now <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, we but, don't want to uh, give anything away. We don't want to give anything away. But what are we uh, seeing coming out here now? This is our Economod class coming out for their for their uh, their feature race. Feature races are 15 laps versus 10. Oh, okay, I was going to ask that. And, and it's kind of unique. This year, this class and our mini mod class are both powder puff. Okay. We've got no men in these classes this year. Oh, okay. In the past, we have. So that's just how uh, how things uh, develop as the years go on. People move on up, and uh, new drivers come on board. Yeah. And what kind of uh, what kind of top speed will we see here? Uh, these these get up around 22, 24 mile an hour okay. top speed. Uh, they're only running eight horse motors, so I mean they haven't got a lot of giddy up go. Do you have a favorite out there? Oh, I got to go with both of them. How would I take <laughs> one over the other? You can't do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know that was a dangerous question. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> well, I'm proud of Zamira just trying it this year because she's been here for a lot of years helping out, but never get into the racing. And this year she decided to give it a try. And, and which one is she on? She's the one in the 88. Okay, right. And there they go around to their first lap in the Economide yeah. class. It looks like Dara got a little giddy up go there from somewhere. Uh -huh. Wow. Got hooked up well on the outside. She, uh, she was a joy to talk to here in the chair. We, we had a good conversation with her. She's, uh, she's a special person, that one. And she likes Batman. That's her. Oh, that, yeah. That, and that's what the logo is on her machine. Okay. And a big picture of Batman on the top of the hood. And uh, that, was, that was put on there by RPM Designs again for us. We've all got our superhero. Yep, yep. I think Zamara must be a Dale Jr. fan with the 88. I'm not sure of that. Okay. I used to like Michael Waltrip when he was racing. Hence, that's why mine's called 55. Uh, has nothing to do with the current number 55. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we just picked the number and we stayed with it. Hopefully next race I'll have my little super mod out here with a Number five is the 13 Honda running on alcohol. It should get up and go. It hasn't been out this year yet. Running on alcohol. I yep. just <laughs> In which case, we have to wear fireproof gear. Okay. It all has to be Nomex and fire, not fireproof, but fire retardant. Uh, right. Fire suit. That makes sense. Yeah. Keep coming back to that safety factor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, the mare's making a run on the outside. And can you get her on the inside? Nope.
Dar is just not going to let it happen. Nope, nope, she's riding that inside. These two are pretty pretty consistent when it comes to speed and so on. They generally run pretty close together. He's going to give her another attempt here, it yeah. looks like. Not quite. Keeping the pressure on. Waiting for a mistake. Just a little slip here or there. Well, that's... You better stay in first because I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's still got some time. A few more laps yep. to go here. I'm yep. Focused, boys. Just hands on the wheel and straight ahead. And they're 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 running full full. They're out running right flat now. out. Yep. yep. Lawn more racing you want to have is you put your pedal to the metal and you don't lift. And your foot doesn't go anywhere near the brake. Right. All you do is steer. <laughs> yeah. Might have be close to the brake. <laughs> <laughs> well and, and I guess it, you know, I'm a motorcycle rider, so I you know it's it's there's a relationship between you and the machine. Yep. Right? You yep. know, and you have to... Uh, You're one. You've you know. got to know each other's limits. Yep. Exactly. Because uh, if you don't, I didn't, my, my, I wouldn't let my wife on the motorcycle for quite some time because I said, hey, you got to let me and this new motorcycle get to know each other before I'm putting you nope. on the back. Too. Know what each other's going to do in certain circumstances. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. She shifted on me the other day when we, I said, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, or you at least got to tell me when you're going to do that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ooh, look at the inside. She's Not going to happen. Still trying, though. Yep. It has been this way throughout the entire race. Yep. Just. And we'll come into the final lap here, right? Yeah. Last chance. She's thinking, if I could just go two more like, miles an hour faster, I might be able to pull this. Dad, off. give me a little bit more <laughs> throttle. <laughs> and you notice most of the machines have got a bumper on the front and the rear. Yes. And the back bumper, you notice, is angled. That's for safety again. Okay. So if your tire hits it, you won't climb up on back of the other machine. Right. So Dara will take her win. Dara takes her win for the day. Good for her. I asked her, you like to win? She's like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. Well, who doesn't, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we're out here to have a good time, but we want to win, Yeah, too. that's right. We want to right. be, be competitive, and, yeah. uh, but at the same token, uh, winning isn't the end all. No. I'm sorry I beat you. No, you're not. You wanted to win. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll take a nice victory yeah. lap. We'll earn. She held on to it all yep. the way through. Yeah, and no. uh, as, as did uh, Z Xander? Xander. Xander, yeah. Yep. She held her spot all the way through, too. Yep, Zamara did a good job. Good job. Now, that machine of Dars to go up to another class, it's a transaxle right now. I could just drop a 12-horse motor in there, and she'd go up and run with these ones here. Yeah. Or I could uh, put a either a 90-degree gearbox in or a peerless 700 gearbox. Uh, and then she could keep going right on up to Supermod. Right. Uh, that's the nice thing about the machines. We try to we try to set a platform so that you don't have to keep changing them every year to go to a different class. Right. You can build on the existing. That would get uh, expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just keep. Uh, you know, you want to go a little faster. You put a bigger motor in. That moves you to another class. But all you've done is put a motor in it. Right. Everything else connects. Okay. Kelly says alcohol fuel makes a different smell in the air. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and here we're oh. here. A little rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah's saying hello. <laughs> Sarah won the last one, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, payback time. Payback right? time, yep. <laughs> I wonder what the conversations are, you know, <laughs> after the race. 
and before the next one. I'm going to get Woo! you. Oh, hang on to her there, Sarah. Oh, sure. Well, she won't be happy with that. Well, she said, well, I'm going to have to settle down. <laughs> she was really turning it on there. She yep. didn't. She, <laughs> she, she was running high in that turn four and get into the marbles. Right. Now she's got to hope for an error. Yeah. <laughs> Now, young Xander, who runs in the uh, outlaw class, he used to run Corey's machine. Okay. He used to run this machine. That oh, this that, one here. That used to be his machine okay. one time, too. He just progressed up. But every year he's progressed, he's got a new machine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Again, I, for a guy who said, you need to get a life. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah's picking up a little bit of room on her, but I'm not sure she's got time to get it done. Well, thank you, Mother Nature, by the way. She's uh, she's done us she's well today. She's done us real well today. She's done us real nice. Yeah. Nice temperature for racing. Doing a real good job out front there. Holding on well. Sarah's yeah. gained a little bit of ground gained here. A little bit of ground, yep. So maybe uh, the leader here getting a little slacking off. Maybe backing off a wee bit. Might be getting tired. I mean, it's surprising how tired these things get. Well, you I was going to say, eh? what's the fatigue factor well, in this? About 10 laps, you're ready to give up. Yeah, because a lot of shaking yep. and rumbling. Uh, and feature race, you say, oh man, I still got another five laps to on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sarah's so still working it. Yeah, she's working it. So you can see her. I remember the first race that I actually finished all 10 laps. I'll tell you, I was shaking when I was done. Right. Well, there's a reason it's so many laps, I guess, right? Yep. Well, what a turn of events this would be if Sarah were to come out and delete on this. Yep, yep. I guess that's that, uh, that error factor can swing that pendulum the other yeah. way pretty quickly. Yep. In the turns, I would see, is where it's mostly going to happen, right? Yep, yep. You get that turn just right, you can pick up a lot of room. Like right now, you know, she's picked up. She might get her done. You can hear the next class revving themselves up. Last lap. Last lap. Let's see if she can get her done. Oh, she blew it. Look at that. Eh? She's <laughs> what was that? What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's the point of no return right there. That's right. Yeah. She what? gave her a good run, though. She, she gave was, her a uh, good run, yeah. The, lead, the leader was scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was coming. Now, now, what's this hand signal that we see that, often? That, that means beware behind me. I'm slowing down. Right. Uh, you'll see that if there's a caution flown out on the track. Right. They'll put their hand up and let them know that, uh, be aware that I'm slowing down. Uh, we want to be coming off the track as slow as possible. I mean, we've got machines sitting right there, yeah. uh, people standing there. And it's fairly rough right in there if you get off that uh, dirt portion there. And it, uh, it can throw the steering wheel out of your hand. We had a racer uh, a few years ago. He lost his steering about uh, mid-turn one, turn two. Oh, he, wow. act, he actually got up to the side and hit the b side of the trailer with his machine. So uh, we immediately decided to put some more protection along the track when that happened. I see seven racers coming out here in the modified. modified? This is the modified class. Yeah. Yep, two, four, six, eight of them. And we got Corey and Jasper at the back. I see Dylan's taken back on the 22. Now, how does Corey go to the back? Would have been Probably penalized him for being so good. <laughs> 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 or, or he and Jasper volunteered to go back there just to make it a better race. There you go. 
Uh, the uh, 22, that driver bought the purple purple. Did you run it next year? There's the go flag. Corey is uh, bringing it on. He knows he's got some work ahead of him. Jasper up the inside. Wow. A strong lead here by number 22. He's doing well. And this is another 15 laps, though? Another 15 so this, laps. Yep. This would, be, this would be harder to hold on to at this speed, right? Yep, yep. Uh, that 22 was the track champion last year. And guess what? That was the machine Corey was driving. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Taking those burners well. Number five, you know, for for what you tell me about his experience. Second race out. Not doing too bad. Not doing bad at all. Corey sneaking his way Whoa, in there. Whoa, hang on to her there, young feller. Whoa. A little wet. He's he's not having a good day. No. You can try to push that corner, but it'll bite you if you do. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> yep, he's just wet. <laughs> Maybe a little pride shaking. A little pride shaking. So now, when we see the yellow flag up, that means everybody holds their position. Everybody holds their position. Dana, who's the scorekeeper, she'll make sure they're lined up in the order they were running. The uh, 55 will go to the back and uh, continue to play in the mud. So th these aren't laps that are happening? No. Nope. We don't count caution laps. All right. Needs to get her started now. Yeah, he's trying to get the tether strap into the right spot. Now how uh -oh. much time, when this happens, how much time will they give a, a racer to get back in the race? There oh. has to be a point of saying sorry. Yeah. Th they'll, they'll assess what the situation is, uh, sometimes two or three laps. Uh, if it was a case where it stopped running, uh, whatever reason he can't get her fired up here again now, so he's going to end up at the back. But he'll still get points. Eh? He'll get last place points, but I mean, there's still uh, it's something for being here. And make sure he's out of the way, safely out of the way before they uh, see some help coming down here. Yeah. Normally, I'd run down there and give him a hand, but... Uh, You're busy. I'm busy. <laughs> exactly. We didn't want to make you run today. No, no. <laughs> so, and number it's 55. A, it's a learning curve, eh? I mean, you find, okay, what, what no caused... No pun intended. Going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> learning curve, yep. all right. <laughs> and, so. and that's why we want to put some barricade over in there to protect if we get uh, our on line coming on the other side. Because that's a common place for people to go off the track right, right. there. Yeah. Uh, there we go. There's the gold flag again back at oh, her. Oh, Corey coming up the inside. He's Talk about no fear. There's yep. another guy. He's just like, I'm right here. And that's his son in the 22. Yeah. <laughs> He just like cleverly works his way in there, like. Uh, yep. Yep. Well, he's got a machine. If he points it, it'll go there. That's a nice thing to have. <laughs> Number five falling to the back of the pack, but still holding on. Still holding on. Giving himself some more experience. So Brody Brody Warren is asking, who is the White Moor, number five? Uh, haven't got a name for you. He's a new driver out of uh, out of Ridgetown. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, Corey's had a. What are you doing over there, Corey? <laughs> the caution flag went up, and I guess he must have spun out. But he holds on. And there's 
gonna we'll get a go flag here in just a moment. If you're just joining us here, we're at the Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing here in Petrolia. That's right, it exists. One of five clubs in all of Canada, right here in P-Town, Petrolia, right next to the landfill site on uh, Highway 21, or Oil Heritage, just north, or just south of the lights, rather, at uh, 10th line. And there's the go flag again. And we'll Corey LaPointe will try to sneak his way back in. Competitive race going here right now. Yep. Dylan, Corey, and Jasper. Who, sorry, who's this in the lead? This is Jasper Jansen. Jasper. That just sounds like a race car name. <laughs> Jasper yep. Jansen, right? You know? well, he's the driver of the Purple Nurple. Yes, that's, and that's right. And that's his wife's lawnmower he's driving. Oh, okay. He built that for her this year. Corey's made his move here. He got into the second place. He has. He just, where did he come from? <laughs> he just kind of worked his yep. way in there. Yep. And uh, he's hoping not to have another incident like he did a moment ago yeah. with a spin out. But there, Jasper there it got is. her again. Jasper takes it. Sorry, Corey. Yeah. But a, a nice second place finish, actually, for Corey on the point. Exactly. He just, like, well, and that's experience and uh, I, I a well-oiled machine. Yeah, I think that's the first race that Corey's lost this year. Oh, he's going to hear about it he, then. He's going <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> But good, clean racing, no instance. Everybody respected everybody else, well, even though they were running close together. Yeah, you know, I, I said that earlier, but it's true. You can you can feel it, you know. There's a lot of respect out there on that track, and that's uh, we keep talking about the safety factor, but it's really important. Now, Corey's getting unrobed at the start-finish line. I wonder what that's all about. Maybe he's going to do a dance for us. Do we want to <laughs> see? Do we want to see that? <laughs> And they saw a little respect there, the thumbs up, good race from Corey to Jasper. Having a talk with the starter. Maybe there was something Corey wasn't quite happy with, hard to say. Corey is our race director, so he's kind of monitoring what's going on on the track all the time, as well as when he's racing to make sure uh, things are being done the way we want them done. Right. Well, and, and yeah. got to make some calls out here, some safety calls sometimes, yep. right? Or yep. Yep. Call a call a call the day if the call weather's the day. not that's, right. That's Corey's uh, job. Uh, you know, he consults with others as they're available. I was at Ducasa Speedway the last race when he called it, but uh, we were in communication, and I was aware that it was raining, and I said, "Hey, by all means, uh, if it's raining and the track can't be used safely, then." Uh, yeah. Cancel it. And well, it's like this morning. You know, I was yeah. in communication with him. Yeah. Said, you know, am I are we still on or? Well, we're just told nine. We see the caution flag being waved yeah, up there. I think he's trying to get the attention of the next class and get him out here. Uh, I think Corey's staying out here probably to run with uh, Tim and the supermodel. But maybe, let's see, Tim went off with a problem. Maybe Tim uh, can't run either. Maybe whatever he breakage was is not repairable. Okay. And that's something we do. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll find other classes boating with and run with other ones just to get more machines on the track right. and to make uh, make an event out of it for the for the racers. There's Tim there. Looks like he's all done. Whatever broke is not repairable. Okay. But uh, but yeah, we uh, as I say, we want to put a show on for the crowds. It was. If we can get more than one machine out there at any time, then that's what we like to do, just to uh, 
to make it interesting. So now we'll get the uh, the two outlaws out there to finish off our program. This will be a rival because this is a Xander's one one and Jasper's one one. Right. We'll see. Uh, we'll see who wins out. Now, do you ever? Is there is there ever um, demonstrations? You know, like uh, motorcycles will do burnout competitions and stuff like that. Do they have that kind of thing with this? Not usually. We have the odd guy who go out there and do some donuts and so on if he right. wins a race and so on. But other than that, uh, no. Uh, we we really haven't got into uh, into that type of thing, you know. Other than allowing uh, spectators who want to try what it's all about and so on, you know, right. giving them the opportunity to do that. Donuts are fun. Donuts are fun. Yep. So you, we used to do that in the winter time in a big parking lot, you know. Yep. Back in the day when they had only rear wheel drive, none yep. of this front wheel drive, all wheel drive <laughs> stuff. Yep. Oh, I did it in the old Sears parking lot. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> they can't put me in jail for that now, can they? I don't no. know. <laughs> what? What's that? Where you put McDonald's trays under your back tires, and then you run forward and you put the and you Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff LaGroix telling us how to do it with McDonald's trays. <laughs> I remember doing it. Well, if you wanted to do a donut in your van, you have to do it in reverse now, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we do the old, does anybody ever, do you remember what a Rockford is? A Rockford? They call it a Rockford. Remember the Rockford Files? Yeah. So he would do that going, uh, going in reverse, oh, and then you spin around spin and around start going go the forward. other way. That's yep. called a Rockford. Or yep. That's what I always call yep. it. I might have done that once or yeah. twice, but it's different in a car. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the uh, the thing with doing donuts, the big thing. Oh, well, here we go. This is Jasper and Xander. Jasper and Xander. Xander's okay. in the lead. If you look at ja Xander, he's looking through the steering wheel. Darcy Grant wants to know, did, you, did we ever find out who was the white one from Ridgetown? I did not. Uh, no, we don't know yet. That's okay. Now you talk about he's looking through his steering wheel. Is that for a reason? That's just the position the seat's in. Oh, okay. He, he, he's always had a machine that that's the way he's, he's raced, is looking through the steering wheel. Purple Nerve will need to catch up here. Dawson. Dawson? Bron Bronson Perry said his name is Dawson. Dawson, okay. Thank you, Bronson. Th thank you. Bronson is... Uh, she's, she's the young lady that was helping the one driver out oh, down okay. here. All right. Yeah. yeah, so we've got a few people that are here watching. Yep, that's good. Right. Yep. By golly, there's... 15 laps already, just like that. Wow. Or they decide they only want to do 10. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking they went with 10 because yeah, that was pretty quick. It seemed to be pretty quick, yep. It was kind of a no-brainer. And again, that's uh, a lot of power in those things. And those tires, man. <laughs> yep. And it takes a little bit of skill to get that size tire fit on a machine. They uh, don't still cut grass though, do they? <laughs> you give us a field that has got grass and we'll cut it. Is that right? <laughs> There'll be a dirt track when we're done. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> be a dirt track when we're done. Now, I see a couple of power wheels down there. I'm just wondering whether we're going to bring some power wheel kids out here and let them do a little bit of something. Uh, where's Corey?
I don't see any action down there. Maybe they're just going to let them go out and play on the track after we're done here. I'm not sure. Let me run down and find out real yeah, quick. Yeah, okay. Wayne Freer joining us here today to uh, give us the insight on lawnmower racing. He's going to uh, head down and see what's coming up next, possibly, if there's something coming up next. And uh, thanks to all of you who are, are here watching. And uh, this will stay on Facebook. It'll There'll be a replay available. So uh, take the time to click that share button and share it around to get some more attention for the Western Ontario Outlaws Lawnmower Racing, one of five clubs in all of Canada. And uh, also, I'm just double checking, making sure. Yeah, September the 29th, they're looking to have another race out here. Um, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so, and they'll be at Thorndale Fair coming up on f this Friday uh, at 7 o'clock in the evening on the Friday night, uh, having some races out there, so if you're out that way, or take the time and make the trip out there. It's, uh, it's pretty cool watching this live, and, uh, oh yeah, okay, we've got some real, real youngins coming out here, I'm going to let them play on the track, that's <laughs> what do they call them? Power wheels? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Power wheels down here to uh, give them an opportunity to come out on the track. Oh, Wayne, back to fill us in here. Yeah, so I guess we're going to have a couple of power wheel racers here. Right, okay. Uh, Lauren's down there talking to them giving them some instructions. Uh, I can guarantee you at this age, sometimes the instructions don't mean a whole lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of fun. Uh, you'll probably see them weaving back and forth at some time. Right. Uh, it looks like they're going to give them the whole track to run around this time. So, although... Well, I see a pylon oh, no, pylon out, pylon out, here. out yep. here. So they're just going like to come down here and back. Go down around the pylon and back. Good. Okay. I know the one driver, and he's not wearing his ball helmet, but that's that's okay. These really don't go fast enough to need to have a helmet on. No, no. That's uh, that's Corey's grandson. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the uh, in the Silverado down there. Uh, it's one way to get them started. One way to get them started. Now he does have a junior more, but he's still a little bit timid and a little scared of it. Yeah. Uh, well, you know. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> no, they stopped and had a conversation here. I guess they're they're saying, "Well, I'm going to go down here. You can run into the back of me if I stop." <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> as turn, I, sa as I say, <laughs> if the instructions didn't mean a whole lot necessarily. They're Gavin uh, making a cut on the inside. He's coming close on the inside. Let's see, we're going to try to <laughs> zoom in on this here. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> These little guys, they think they're going a thousand mile an hour doing this. I mean, they're they just have a ball. They're gonna go up and turn around and do it again. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we're a little stuck there, but a little push, and away we go again. And you know, this gives them the the confidence they need. To say, well, you know, maybe I can have something a little bit faster. 
still controlled, and I can I can do this. I can go out and drive around a big racetrack. Uh, see the cone? Look at that. Hey, he's getting there better. First time out, he he covered the whole track because he was weaving all over the place. Big smile on his face. He's a little point. He's a little point. <laughs> yeah. And mom's out there with the camera. Grandpa's standing on the great grandpa's standing on the hill watching him. Grandpa, he's down there talking to one of the other racers. <laughs> and there's your winner. We got some free bags of popcorn up in the hill here for them to show, oh, there for, you go. show for their effort. That's that's worthwhile racing. Yeah. It'd be nice to have trophies for every race. Unfortunately, that gets very, very expensive. Well, you need a trophy sponsor. Well, <laughs> you know, every time I go out and buy trophies, I spend six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. And that's nothing really fancy in order to. Uh, and we just do the first three places. There's some places that'll do the first five places. Well, now, mind we got some classes we don't have five in, so it wouldn't right. be an issue. But yeah, well, you'll uh, get there. You're building this. We're, we're building going that direction. Thing, right? We're building and, going uh, that direction. Uh, as I say, if we can get ourselves some some major sponsors to help out with us here, and be able to do them the service that we want to do and get their name out there, yeah, uh, it becomes a win-win for well, everybody. Well, hopefully, broadcasting this today will get some attention, and uh, it's been uh, educational for me. <laughs> I can tell you. Well, we we certainly appreciate uh, being out here and being able to do this with you, and yeah. uh, uh, it's been it's been great. Well, hopefully, we can get to doing more, and and uh, again. Uh, we want to uh, say shout out to some of the sponsors that already exist. Cartworks, uh, Cart Racing Parts Service Engines at cartworks.ca. You can learn more about them there. And also RPM Designs, the, uh, providing some of the signage and the decals that are on some of the racing uh, here today as well. Is this the end of our day? This is the end of our day, our okay. program now. Uh, we'd like to thank Glenn, call Glenn for uh, for his sponsorship. And uh, we'll shout out to Wise Guys, too, because they kind of advertise in the background and support us in the background there. We've been trying to get them to get a banner up out here, but so far they haven't got it. All right, but, all right. Uh, we're prepared to uh, to put a banner up there for them to give them some, uh, some uh, publicity as well. I mean, uh, you want pizza, you want wings. Uh, wise guys in Detroit is a good place to go. Okay, and check out Car Wars on YouTube later tonight. Uh, I know Jeff's already been working on some of the footage here. That's right. That he said he'll have up there, uh, and it's a great YouTube channel. I, I've I've watched it. It's yep. it's uh, there's a lot going on there. Go on there. So and Car hear. Wars with a Z, and uh, you'll see some some good racing action there as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, don't forget to call up Dave's site and make sure that. Uh, you see the action online. Yeah, awesome. Wayne, thank you so much, man. That was a lot of fun, and I hope thank we can you, do Dave. it again Appreciate sometime. It. You bet. And you bet. Uh, thanks to everybody who uh, came out and joined us here today. We appreciate you watching. Click the share button to get around, get some more attention, and mark it on your calendar, September the 29th, likely another race. We'll keep you posted on that. And also Thorndale Fair coming up this Friday at 7 o'clock. And uh, we're going to be talking more about Western Ontario Outlaws on the show every week. So uh, keep watching for that. Thanks, everybody. That's all for today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye for now.